the energy which is utilized to unite a new nucleotide to the growing DNA chain comes from the uh, phosphate bonds on the nucleotide precursor. As a result, nucleotides must approach the growing chain with their 5' prime carbon first. So nucleotide insertion occurs in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction. If it were not so, there would not be a way of correcting errors because once an erroneous nucleotide was put in place, uh, the triphosphate bond would be gone and so then no new nucleotide could be inserted uh, instead if an error had been made. So DNA polymerase will only add new nucleotides in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction. This is easy enough for the leading strand. For the leading strand, once the primer is made, DNA polymerase can simply follow helicase along the replication fork. So the further that uh, helicase unzips in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction, then DNA polymerase can simply follow it, inserting new nucleotides in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction. So when we see a replication bubble, uh, there are four possible uh, ways to grow the DNA chain, uh, two on either side of uh, the origin of replication. Two of these uh, are leading strands where DNA polymerase is simply following the helicase enzymes uh, adding new nucleotides in a 5' prime to 3' prime direction. The other strands are referred to as lagging strands because as helicase unzips, it is uh, unzipping in the 3' prime to 5' prime direction, and DNA polymerase cannot follow it. So instead, DNA polymerase must wait for the chain to unzip a bit, form a primer, and then move backwards to the origin of replication, then to be followed by another fragment, which forms after helicase has, has unzipped the uh, DNA helix a little bit more, and then another fragment once helicase has unzipped the DNA uh, a little bit more, etc. So while one strand is being synthesized continuously from a 5' prime to 3' prime direction as DNA polymerase follows the replication fork, on the other strand, the opposing strand, uh, the DNA must be synthesized from a series of fragments known as Okazaki fragments, and this is known as the lagging strand. 